वेलकम टू दॉय काइन दिस योर होस्ट हर्षि ढिंगोन एंड यूर वॉचिंग द वॉइस ऑफ यूथ एंड एज यू ऑल नो गाइज आई लव नागालैंड एंड एंड स्पेशली वी टॉक अबाउट नो नागालैंड वाई आई लव नागालैंड इट्स सो मेनी रीजन बिकॉज माई कनेक्शन विद नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम नागालैंड इट सेल्फ एंड टूडे आई एम गेटिंग अ वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंट्रैक्ट विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पर्सनैलिटी इन डेली एट नागालैंड हाउस राइट नाउ हु इज एन आई एस ऑफिसर ऑफ नागालैंड केडरे नाइनटीन नाइनटी एंड ऑल्सो ही इज एन एडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटरी of nagaland government and we have with us a personality who is not only an is officer but also an actor entertainer and he is very well known for his voice overs as well as writings as well from quotations to you talk about slogans and he is a one man army of you can say intellectual things as well and entertaining as well so you can understand guys that such a personality is really hard to see in today's you know today time and today he is a youth inspiration and for me he is a big inspiration because when i connected with nagaland he was one of the personality who supported me as well to create some kind of a fashion show for nagas and he is a very well known personality mr jyoti kalastar welcome to the voice sir welcome to voice of youth thank you very much yeah so it's been sir very long time we are meeting after uh, almost 3 years you would like to know that sir uh, you started this journey of being an is officer you know and then you entered into bollywood as well so we would really want to know that the connection between is and bollywood so first of all i would like to know that from which city and from where you started your journey of acting okay uh, first of all big thanks to you yeah thank you sir. for giving me this opportunity to interact and uh, your show will bring close to the audience and the viewers uh, so thank you for that welcome sir welcome it's my my privilege i'm sitting with him yeah As far as uh, my uh, interest in theatres or plays are concerned, uh, it goes back to my student days mm. when I was in school, and uh, I'm from Bihar, and uh, uh, you know Bihar uh, schools are very different, colleges mm. are different in a way that uh, you have uh, late academic sessions in colleges. Now things are much better. But in my time, uh, things were not that good. Mm. But yes, result-wise, it was doing very well. So um, I used to get time, you know, uh, for my plays, for my uh, theatres, mm-hmm. because uh, I had this passion right from beginning. And uh, I will tell you that uh, when I was uh, in class four. Mm-hmm. long time back and it was rajesh khanna's famous movie haathi ke saath haathi ke saath to dosto haathi ke saath hi kahani sunte hain aakhir sar se dekhte bataiye so haathi ke saath hi when i watched this movie so something you know went inside me and uh, uh, i i try to uh, basically copy rajesh khanna <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> that was my first performance before my friends <laughs> and uh, how rajesh khanna does everything you know yeah, yeah. in that style so that was my first you know uh, acting skill i would say you know mm-hmm. which i explored myself and people appreciated that one that mean you started doing kind of uh, acting from your home itself at the time you were not even 15 or uh, 12 like it was very small very small yeah because uh, this hathi hathi mere sathi haan ji is a very old movie yeah, yeah. you know and uh, it is early 70s yeah so that was my first you know uh, i would say step in dramatics mm-hmm. so i copied rajesh khanna and it was appreciated then i repeated this before so many audiences they liked it so that gave me encouragement mm-hmm. and uh, so that passion was there but of course i come from a family of uh, teachers professors so they never wanted me to do all these things mm-hmm. but it was something like you know passion it was inside me so with the studies mm-hmm. i used to get involved in plays and theaters and uh, there was a support my parents as well but mm-hmm. they made it very clear that no compromise on studies <laughs> because that is going to give you bread and butter yeah. theater will not give you because that time that time is not so big uh, people who were going to uh, say bollywood or mm-hmm. those who were going to mumbai were written off by the families mm-hmm. this man will not do anything or this girl will not do anything mm-hmm. so people used to go to mumbai uh, just for fun you know mm-hmm. and uh, 
but I took it as a very serious career, you know, and uh, uh, because I always liked acting, uh, my passion was for it, and uh, so I got number of uh, offers for doing theatres and plays. So college days, I was performing on the stage, and uh, then I got into the service. And when I got into the service, then it was very difficult to find time to mm. pursue your, you know, mm. passions, your hobbies. So I was in different services. Mm -hmm. I was in the Indian Statistical Service and in Railway Traffic Service and then Forest Service, and finally landed in the IAS. Mm -hmm. And IAS lot of work pressure is there mm -hmm. you don't get time mm -hmm. but yes I always say that uh, Friday after 6 p.m. till 8 a.m. in the morning on Monday this is your personal life mm -hmm. you know, this is the time which you actually get mm -hmm. for your personal things you know it's your personal space during this time so why not do something constructive and if I can make or give a smile mm -hmm. on the faces of public mm -hmm. by doing acting or by singing, I will be the first person to do so. But no compromise on my professional work. Wow, sir. That's a very big message, guys, that, you know, how to balance your work life and your passion as well. That is one of the biggest challenges everybody face in today's world. And this is called uh, life management. And you have to manage your life. You have to know that what time you have to give to what thing at w which place. So this is a very big balance we have brought. And if you talk about IS journey that you already told that you have been into different services, you entered into IS. So was there being becoming an IS was your dream or it was just the family pressure or the dream of your dad how you become an IS officer say IS was not a dream for me mm -hmm. because I was just a student mm -hmm. what happened that my mm -hmm. as I said that my parents were university professors professors okay education focused that's right okay they wanted the change of track in the next generation mm -hmm. So they motivated, my oh, okay. parents motivated me and my brother, you know, to go for civil services. You know, yeah. That time we were just in class 12th. Oh, wow, wow. And uh, since then, because you can't start preparation from class 9 or class 10, mm -hmm. you know. So once you join, uh, you know, college, mm -hmm. then you start thinking about it. Mm -hmm. So no dream in the, you know, uh, mm -hmm. early stage of mm -hmm. your life. Early stage of life, you should focus on your studies, mm -hmm. which uh, every student does. And I was also doing the same thing. So when a uh, result of class 12 came, so I did fairly well. So parents said, Ki, why don't you focus your eyes on civil services? So that's how, you know, uh, I got motivated. You're remarkably, you know, you are versatile in your personality. <laughs> Nobody can judge. Guys, more you will know, more you get amazed. That aisa bhi ho sakta hai kya? <laughs> this kind of personality he have because he is somehow going to give so many surprises. Agar aap janegi inke baare mein aur bhi zada, you will get surprised. Ki inhone ye bhi kya hai, wo bhi kya hai and he will, you have to just research more about him and you will know ki kitni badi inspiration hai youth ke liye. To iske lao, we would also like to know that uh, the journey into Bollywood, if you talk about the journey into Bollywood, you have uh, so many talents. You have done like many written slogans as well for government and you have been into movie Sarabjit as well. So how was that experience working with the, the, all the big stars out there, superstars? Shwere Rai was also there inside that movie. How was that experience in Sarabjit movie? First, uh, entering to Bollywood. Oh, yeah, entering to Bollywood. How you started? Yeah. Yes. It so happened in uh, 2008. Mm -hmm. you know. That time I was in Afghanistan and uh, I was with the United Nations. Mm -hmm. And you know Afghanistan, <laughs> <is> <laughs> what is happening there. <laughs> so guys, it is a very big thing. Sir has served in Afghanistan, the most dangerous places as well. And he is the most coolest guy, I must say. You can see the personality. He is one of the coolest personal or you can say the co coolest sir, IS officer I have ever met in my life. And the most young and dynamic personality, sir. So how was this started everything here? Yeah. So coming to the point yeah. that uh, so 2008 I was in Afghanistan. Mm. So I had come on a leave to India. Mm -hmm. So when I came here then uh, there was a marriage function. So in that marriage function mm -hmm. the famous producer come director Mehul Kumar who uh -huh. uh, made Kranti Veer. Yeah, yeah. There are so many good movies mm -hmm. he has made. Tiranga mm -hmm. and <coughs> Ma Tujhe Salam mm -hmm. all those. 
so uh, he saw me in that marriage party and he called me uh, can i have few words with you so i was not knowing him i was not even recognizing who is this mehul kumar mm-hmm. of course i had heard about him mm-hmm. so he said i am so and so and uh, what do you do so i said that presently i am in afghanistan uh, with the un so do you have any interest in theaters or plays or films yes uh, as an indian you are of course you are watching hindi movies mm-hmm. so i said yes very much mm-hmm. so i said can you Uh, do a small role in my kranti veer part 2 mm-hmm. because i am making a sequel because your appearance fits my character you know mm-hmm. so i didn't have time mm-hmm. i said that i have very little time left because i have come here for one week mm-hmm. you know and two days to give in mumbai for that mm-hmm. particular shoot so let me think over it mm-hmm. so i said think over it i am not i am not forcing you mm-hmm. then i decided because i was so interested right from beginning mm-hmm. and this was a, like a god sent opportunity for yeah, me yeah yeah so i said okay okay uh, next day i called him up and said yes i am coming to mumbai so i went over there mm-hmm. and uh, so that was my first entry into bollywood and uh, there was an appearance and a small dialogue and uh, mm-hmm. so that is the start of the journey mm-hmm. in bollywood and after that uh, one after another i completed an assignment in un then i came back and uh, so every friday saturday and sunday uh, i was getting some chances of doing modeling or shooting so i did lot many movies and uh, because i am from bihar so i know bhojpuri as well wow sir this is sir this is very interesting guys you must know that sir have worked in more than like approximately 70 movies in bhojpuri and how this thing happened bhojpuri how you entered the bhojpuri industry then so again uh, the same thing i am saying uh-huh. people watched me in hindi movies uh-huh. like i did sarabjit uh, uh-huh. the accidental prime minister yeah, yeah. lali ki shaadi mein uh-huh. laddu diwana uh-huh. police kiri mm-hmm. attacks of 2611 yeah, yeah. setters uh-huh. Paharganj and the the upcoming movie is with Kangana Ranaut. Uh, uh, you know this is called Thalavi. Oh, this the recent a, movie, the recent project. Yes. Wow, sir, so that, that is over. It's going to release. Yes. Wow, so guys, so be ready that you're going to watch, sir, in upcoming Bollywood movie very soon. We are very excited, guys, and the guys do do research about and do watch that movie for sure. Sir, को देखेगा जरूर. तो उसमें क्या हुआ सर आगे क्या हुआ बताइए. So the name of this movie is Thalavi, hmm. and it's very nice movie. Yes, based on the character of uh, Jayalalitha, yeah. right? So, man, so this is going to be very interesting and big Bollywood. would uh, blockbuster what i believe that's a very big thing that today i am sitting with you i am feeling so proud of you that you are making waves all around the nation sir very nice so uske baad mein abhi bhojpuri tak pahunch rahe hain hum chalte hain main chalo pahunch hi jaate hain pahunch jaate pahunch hi jaate hain aaj hi utar rahe because i have told enough about bollywood ah. and uh, so bhojpuri world is a different world ah. and uh, so uh, many bhojpuri producers not necessarily from bihar and up mm-hmm. but from south you know mm-hmm. because they make Uh, bhojpuri movies south indian are uh, making bhojpuri as well they they, oh. they are investing a lot lot many oh, okay. lot many rather i can safely say that uh, 40% of the producers mm-hmm. are from south okay wow so they are making bhojpuri movies wow that's wonderful and uh, bhojpuri movies are now very different from the early bhojpuri f- movies mm-hmm. reason being is that it used to be limited to a particular segment mm-hmm. you know bhojpuri there was a time but mm-hmm. now Bhojpuri uh, film industry is entirely a different mm-hmm. industry it is running parallel uh, with uh, Bollywood in the movies